Welcome to another three minute tip. We're going to have a look at how to add a second axis in a chart. Let's jump into it. When you have data like this, where you have your revenue against the months and you have a different scale, so this could be a percentage cost or it could be a different type of scale that doesn't relate to each other, then what we need to do is plot this on a secondary axis. So the first thing we do is highlight our data and we're going to create this into a chart. So the shortcut is Alt F1 and there you have a chart. Now on this chart, as you can see, you have the months at the bottom and you have the revenue as it should look with a bar chart. And you can see these tiny little orange columns that show the percentage cost. This is not a very nice visual way to see it. So what we're going to do is plot a secondary axis. And to do that, we go across to the change chart type and we go down to combo and now it automatically detects the right kind of chart for us. So another step that we need to do here, so we look at the revenue here and it's indicated a clustered column and we have the costs here and it's already showing us a line. You can switch that over if you really would like to do that. So let's just click onto secondary access and as you can see, the line now moves along. So if we uncheck it, you see the line flat and when you check it, you can see the secondary axis has been plotted on the right side. Now press OK. And there we have a secondary axis. You can change the chart title. You can just click onto the secondary axis and do many different things. You can do things such as having the data labels. So you can click onto the data labels and you can highlight the percentage. It looks quite messy, but you could also do things such as changing the color. So if you want to go across and change it to, for example, a red color, you could also do that and you can change it into any other format, a weight, a dash and whatever else you want to do on that. So there you have a chart where you can plot two different axes and have a look at your data in a much cleaner and clearer way. I hope that you've learned something from this lesson today. And if you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.